anytime that you hear there's no structural damage, it's just inflammation. Look, there are always concerns when someone goes on the IL with the elbow and especially with everything that's going on around the league. It's about other guys stepping up now, right? And it's a different situation where it's not a year. You hope it's not a year thing. No, it's only a couple games. We'll see what happens a, a couple times through the rotation. And so for you on a dome, big opportunity, right? It, it, this is one of those moments that he has that he has to come back and, and corral it and hopefully, you know, go with good things for for the franchise. On the hill tonight for the Giants will be the left hander Kyle Harrison. Harrison 22 years of age. He's uh, in his rookie campaign. Product out of De La Salle High School, former third round pick by the Giants in 2020. Two starts this year. He's one and one with a 4.91 ERA. C.J. Abrams back in the lineup after missing the last three games with that bruised left pinky finger. He stands in. Got him. And that's how this game gets started with a high fastball. So here's Lane Thomas. Swing and there's a high fly ball deep into right, back toward right center. Goes Yaz into the big part of the yard, onto the warning track. He's got it, out number two. And here's Joey Gallo, who's been on base nine times his last six games. Be able to get off his feet a little bit tonight, DHing with Joey Manessis at first. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Fastball right on the outside corner, belt high at 94 miles an hour. Three up, three down. On the hill tonight for the Washington Nationals will be the right hander, Yoan Adon. Take a look at what he did last year. Uh, in uh, 10 starts, he was 2 and 4. Lifetime, he's 3 and 16 with an ERA in the sixes. The Giants' leadoff batter, Lee Jung Hoo Lee. And to the other side with authority, but Lipscomb was playing out there almost at short, and he had to let one fly to beat that quick runner down the line. Baltimore native and former Maryland Terramit, Lamont Wade Jr. Wade fouls it out of play. Wade went two for four last night. There you go. Put a smile on her face. Dad needs to be a little bit more excited about that. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, you could do that at home. Just reach off of the sofa and pick up a baseball. Not a problem. If, if you're not going to. Be excited. I'm going to sit next to somebody who is. <laughs> Wade, base hit, left field. So Wade goes the opposite way. Well, Wade Jr. has been going that way a lot. It's about the hottest Giants bat coming in. Jorge Soler, the designated hitter, moved up to the number three spot in the order. Down and in. That was nasty from Adon, who last year struck out 48 but walked 24 in 52 big league innings. Conforto hitting 351. As we said, he missed. Last night's game, he's 13 for 37, good for ninth best of the league in batting, four doubles. So we're going to slow ground ball right side to his left second baseman Vargas toward the hole has it. Short throw on to Manessis will retire the side. Joey Manessis leading off for the Nationals. Now he swings and misses on another changeup. Strike three. Three of the four outs recorded have been on strikeouts. Here's Winker. Winker last night, one for four. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. A fastball. In under the hands, right around the inside corner. And he has four strikeouts of the five batters that he's faced. Now, here is Riley Adams. He's going to be very careful with him, Riley Adams. He struck him out swinging. 96 mile an hour fastball down the middle, and he strikes out the side. And he has five strikeouts in two innings, all swinging third strikes, remarkably. Well, you really look for positives in, in, in just the slightest way. But it, it doesn't take long to get your confidence back. That's the beauty of it. Well, now it's up to Bailey to cash in on this first and third with one out. Swing. There's a soft fly ball to center, waiting for it. Making the catch is Young. And the throw will be cut off. Nice at bat. Great right up and Giants. Situational perfection right there for Patrick Bailey, and he went the opposite way to get it done. And he'll get it down to the number nine man, Nick Ahmed, the shortstop. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a fastball and struck him out. On three pitches, his second strikeout. I would say he executed perfectly there. Got on top of a belt high fastball. So now you give a guy with speed an opportunity with two outs. Abrams. Abrams to right center. Did you hear it? Now you can watch it. See you later. Hey, oh. Number three on the year for CJ. And the Nats are showing some speed and power to take the lead here in the third. 17 in a row to start his career, and he becomes the fourth different national in 11 games to steal three bases in a game. So he's in scoring position. That will get it to you know who at the top of the order. Breaking ball. He stays with it. It's in the left field. Young comes flying around third. 
The Nats lead it 3-1, and C.J. Abrams is playing long ball and small ball tonight. And now the Giants have two men on. The tying runs aboard, and it'll be the ninth place hitter, Nick Ahmed, standing between Weems and this third out here. That's a base hit to right field. Yastrzemski's got pretty good speed. Here comes a throw home way offline, and wild. It goes into the Giants' dugout. And he scores. And this game is tied. So all's well that ends well, I guess. Full swing and weak contact accomplished the job. As Trey Lipscomb will be the batter. Lipscomb a ground out to the second baseman, a line out to right. Swinging a fly ball to right. This should be deep enough. Yastrzemski going back onto the warning track will make the catch. Both runners tag. Winker will score. Trey Lipscomb gives the Nationals the lead back with a sacrifice fly. The Nationals four, the Giants three. Happiest guy in the park. Yeah. That's his fourth hot dog on the night, though. I've been keeping track. Is that Larry Nibby? Well, he's got the record 11 in a 9 inning game. There you go. Get it out of there. All right, here, this is like dessert. Oh, no. This is pregame here. He's got to get it just right. A little, bit, a little too much mustard on there. Not a problem. And that will bring up Michael Conforto. Conforto, two hits in four career at bats against Floro. A single and a double for the two hits. Line drive toward the middle. Abrams on one bounce. Has it. Rolls all the way around. Outfield grass. Two hops to throw. And Manessis the stretch. Picks it out of the dirt. And Conforto is out. Oh, C.J. Abrams acrobatic from deep on the outfield grass. Whirled around and purposely bounced the throw. Manessis digs it out. And they get the third out on a very fine play. That was outstanding. How big would a run be here? So Policy would get expensive, and that would be nice. 3 2, and Riley Adams serves one down the right field line. Winker can cruise home, and the big fella motors into second to put the Nats on top by two. The Giants have two men on with nobody out, and Jorge Soler will come up inside with a fastball, and that's ball four. That's a pretty good AB for Jorge Soler. Al Finnegan walks the second batter in this appearance and now it's Conforto bases loaded nobody out and a little chopper there's a play at home and they'll settle for the lead runner nice job Kyle Finnegan catch the ball secure it get the one huge out nobody scores bases remain loaded and now Matt Chapman and a bouncer to short Abrams Vargas nice the Nets hold on to win after the bases were loaded with nobody out just how Kyle Finnegan drew it up, Bob. Kyle Finnegan walked a tightrope in the bottom of the ninth inning, but it's a Houdini act as well. He gets to the other side, and the Nationals out of the dugout, out of the field to celebrate a victory here at Oracle Park.